Uh, hello everyone, my name is Ajay. So this is the second video of the binary search algorithm. So before watching this video, please watch my previous video where I was explaining the other solution of solving the binary search algorithm, which is the recursive solution. So in this video, I'm going to explain you another solution for solving the binary search algorithm. So uh, for watching my free, uh, other video related to binary search uh, algorithm, I actually kept that link in the description of this video, so you can go from there. So coming to this solution, solution two of this binary search. So I will be having the same prototype as discussed in the previous video, which is uh, binary search, B search, which is taking uh, array of integers and entity. So here in this solution, I want to declare uh, int start index, int and index int start index equal to 0 starting element of the array and the int and index to the last element of the array which would be array dot then ns1 okay now i want to use while loop while s is less than or equal to and okay so while s is less than or equal to and i want to check I want to get the middle element of the array. So for getting the middle element, uh, you can use int n, which would be s plus and by two. So I mean, before watching this video, please watch my other video of binary search. I mean, here I'm just explaining the another solution. So in my previous video, I explained exactly how the binary search algorithm works. Okay. So once I'm done with the solution, I will just walk you through the code so that it will be it would be much clearer. So now first I'm getting the middle element of the array by using start and end index and then I will check if that middle element is equal to equal to the target. Okay. If it is equal to the target then I will just return that index which is middle element n. Okay. Else if if it is not equal to the target then it would be either less than or greater than the target so if else if the target is less than the middle element which is this so else if the target is less than the middle element i want to consider the left array as discussed in the previous video if the target is not matching the middle element you have to consider the left subarray if left subarray if the target is less than the middle element and if the target is greater than the middle element you have to consider the right subarray so here the middle element is 4 and the target is 1 so 1 is less than 4 so you have to consider the left subarray if suppose i'm searching for 8 8 is greater than 4 then you have to consider the right subarray so that way it works so else if the target is less than a middle element then you have to consider left subarray so for considering the left subarray the start index would be same s equal to 0 but the end index would be 2 so that is nothing but middle index minus 1 that would be uh, 2 so for, I'm just I mean if it is less than the middle element then I'm just changing the end index to middle minus 1 okay that way you will just consider the left subarray in the next loop else if it is not less than the middle element that means if it is greater than the target is greater the target would be greater than the middle element in that scenario you will just in in that scenario you will consider the right subarray so the right subarray here would be 4 and 7 so this end index would be still same but the start is changing if you are considering the right subarray start is 4 here which is nothing but middle plus 1 so i'm just changing the start index here okay and i'll finish the loop and once the loop is completed and if you haven't found any element if you haven't found the target in the array then that means the target is not present in the array in that scenario i just want to return minus 1 
So this is the second solution of binary search algorithm. So let me walk you through the code. So here if you see, this is the start index, this is the end index, this is the middle element and this is the condition. So for the first time, the start is 0 and this the last element which is 7 and middle element. So okay, first time I will start and end. So I will just come, I will come into the while loop which is as less than or equal to yes 0 is less than or equal to 7 so it comes into the while loop now here i'll get the middle element uh, middle is as plus e by 2 that is 3 so i'll get the middle element now i'll check whether the middle i'll get the middle index then after i'll check whether the middle element is equal to equal to target so index 3 element is 3 element is 4 so i'll check whether 4 equal to equal to uh, 1 it's not it's it's not equal to the target it is the target is actually less than the middle element one is less than four so it will come to as block which is where target is less than middle element so once it comes to this uh, lc block it will change the end and the index to middle minus one that is nothing but three minus one that is two but the start will be same still still the start would be same so by this way i'm just considering the left subarray so here I'm changing the here in this condition I'm changing just the end index which is middle minus one that would be two and again it comes to the while loop now it checks whether zero is less than or equal to n yes yes it comes into the loop I'll get the middle element now zero plus two by two that is nothing but one and now I'll check our uh, element at one is two. I will check whether the middle element is matching the target or not which is at index 1 it's not matching why because 1 is less than 2 so it comes into a block so your target is less than the middle element of this current array then we will change the end index again to middle minus 1 that would be 1 minus 1 that would be 0 okay so I'm changing the end index in the next for the next iteration but the start would be still 0 okay now again it comes to the while loop 0 is less than or equal to n yes it's equal so it comes into the while loop now i'll get the middle element which is 0 plus 0 by 2 that would be 0 so i'll check is middle uh, index of the array is equal to equal to target so here the middle index is 0 which is 1 so 1 is equal to equal to 1 so it comes into this condition and i'm returning the index returning 0 here Okay, so that way I will return the index if the target is matching in the array. So this is the second solution for solving it. So let's see the time complexity of this solution. So if you see when n is equal to, so n is the length of the array which is 8 elements. So for n equal to 8, we are performing 3, we are actually looping 3 times here with these different indexes. So that is 3 times so 3 is nothing but 2 power 3 equal to 8 uh, which we can also write it as log two, log s2 of 8 equal to 3 so that means it is log n so time complexity would be e go log n okay and the space complexity would be e go 1 it's a constant time constant space why because I'm not using any temporary array or anything for performing this operation so space complexity is big of one whereas time complexity is big of log n uh, that is why because i'm just performing it for three times so it is log n time so that is about this solution friends uh thank you for watching my video if you have any questions please post them in the comment section thank you